Um, I think as a personal consumer advocate, it's it just meant it's been a good support system. So it's it's helped me build my capacity and um, and my confidence in sharing my experience and to, just to know that my voice can count and it can make a difference. So like the pro providing the training, um, um, mostly just knowing that HCA has been able to take my experience and my voice or my my story and translate it to SA Health for me in situations where I didn't feel like I'm, I couldn't get my message across completely or, or they understood what I was talking about and so helped me frame the way I could say it um, to kind of help build a better bridge and make, make the changes that need to be made so that way the next person didn't have the same experience. Um, I think a lot of it was uh, things that I didn't even realize were done until I had become part of HCA. So the, the systemic advocacy that's done through HCA with the policy submissions, um, advocating for consumers to get paid for their time and, and their input to show that we are valuable and that we, our voice does make a real difference at the end of the day. Um, yeah, building the capacity in the community as well, of showing people how to use their voices properly and help them understand things like the national standard and, and how that works and how we are incorporated into it and, and really how the, the health network should use us um, as well. I think the loss would be huge and I think the impacts of this loss would um, would be not just immediate, but in the future as well. Over the next few years, you'll see it um, based on, especially with COVID-19 happening. Um, HCA is kind of the bridge between the community and SA Health. And so without that bridge, how does SA Health know what the community wants or needs? Um, and how do they how do they get that, that information from the community with in a constructive way? They, they're losing a critical friend to the government, really. They're losing that person who can can say, this is what's happening. These are the way that the, the community's feeling. These are some, some ideas that we have that you could make some changes to, to do and, and make your, your situation, your department better. So they're, they're really losing a huge, SA Health is losing a huge um, piece, but the state as well. Um, I think there'll be a hole in sharing voices and stories. There'll be a lot of people who, who don't feel comfortable bringing to attention some of the smaller things that are uh, systemic issues that become a bigger problem later. So they could have prevented some of the bigger problems in the future by listening to these little things right now. Um, and there'll be a lot of people who won't make any kind of comments or feedback unless it's a big complaint because they don't think that their, um, their story or their situation was was something that was useful. Whereas now they have that confidence, you know, consumers have a place where they can feel safe to come and talk to you and say, this is what happened. I'm not really sure if it's, if it's something that should have happened. Can you kind of give me some advice on, on how to handle the situation? And then like, that's how you, you have something that festers and it becomes bigger and worse than it, that it should have been because it wasn't handled the proper way in the beginning. Uh, yeah, I think uh, one of the big things is if if HCA is able to not open or stay open after September, we need to remember that means that we're the only state without um, a peak body. And that's a massive deal because uh, every other state in this country has a, a peak body and we won't. So our state is the only one that's not funding um, a peak body for consumers in health. And it's letting us close. It really shows this lack of care for the consumer voice in the state and nationally. And so for a state who wants to be seen as, as forward thinking and as an example for other states, as we have been in several areas, you know, how does it really make us look when we're the only one that doesn't have a peak body for their consumer voice?